All right, guys, so before we hop into this video real quick, I just wanna give a huge shout out to our sponsors um, this year and, and our different uh, bass fishing clubs. And those are PKC Construction. Um, they do a wonderful job doing um, different remodels, roofing, concrete. Um, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description um, so you guys can look and see what they do and if you wanna contact them for anything um, of that nature. And then also JTI, which is uh, John Thomas Incorporated. Um, they do a bunch of different uh, portable traffic signals, crash cushion barriers, um, reacts, different little portable signals, all sorts of things for l real large events. Um, or if you are in um, the road construction business, I will leave a link in the description for them below. But without further ado, this is today too. Hope you guys enjoy this. Set below. Yeah. Yep. I don't think he's gonna make it. He's already been hooked. Get fishing. Thank you. Good net. We gotta try and take advantage of a morning bite. Hopefully you guys can see that. Well over 15. I didn't hear you hook up. I didn't even hear a blow up. There you go. We got the skunk out of the boat. You got the skunk off your shoulders. All right, guys. Well, I'm just kind of flipping this eelgrass along too while we're moving. And just got a 15 and a half. Fish number two. He's gonna make it. Huh? Yeah.
Ooh. One little tip of his fin touches. Yeah, I'm just squeezing his tail together. Yep, barely. No, this one's worse. I'm I'm gonna put number seven on him. He's going in the other side. Yeah. I got hit once there, once right in front of it, and then once probably three feet in front of that. The furthest one closest to me is when he finally showed himself and he looked. I kept it pink because I didn't know if you got him or not. <laughs> he might be one, huh? Sweet. Persistence. It's a big word for me, but that's the used word I'm going to go with this morning. <laughs> Thanks. That's the thing about it. I mean, a lot of times, them frogs, they come up and keep their thing. A lot of times, they keep their own thing. Right. I got him in the bottom lip. It's not the strong, is it? No, it's... It was right here. Okay. I think he's going to make for it. I'm pretty sure he is. All day, every day. All right, I need a cold tag. See him though? Oh yeah. They're so warm. Thank you. Fish number four going in the box. He's got a little bit of a belly starting on him. Ow! As I kicked the center council. That water's so. Whatever it is. Come on, babe. I. <laughs> you make me nervous. That's what you tell me all the time. He looks a little thicker. Yeah. He definitely pulled a lot closer too. Is that the one where you were trying to, to get it? Kind of. Along that weed edge, right? Oh, yeah. Five bass limit by, I don't even know what time it's it is. Limit, baby. Good work. Good work. Now we gotta go to, go to town Colin. That's, we didn't have our limit yesterday until one noon pie noon uh, put him in the right how big was, how long was he uh, just over 15 look how beat up he is i had one my small one my 13 inch earlier yeah hold on. he uh had a big old sore on his side too Looks like a nice bass. 
that was harder than crap to reel through. That's our biggest fish today so far. Okay. He was right on the back side of that patch. He was literally pulling the boat. Did you notice that? When I was trying to get him in. Oh, I'm amped. I had him hooked good too. Okay, I thought I had him hooked good here to get out. Sixteen. He got me good too. He got my finger. Coltec seven, right? And if we could just get some big, like some decent fish out of here, we'd be okay. We could, I mean, if we could get like one or two twos and then get like a three or a four, we'd be in it. I mean, we'd have a chance. That one did the same thing. They're they're not biting. They're they're just picking it up and running. I don't think he's gonna make it on board. I mean, he's got a belly on, so I wanna check. Little. Not even measuring him. I said, I bet he was close to 14. I bet he was a, maybe 13. Nope. Second bass in here in two minutes. just whether he's going to be over that or not. It's going to come down to weight, so what do you want to do? Bit of a midday update. Um, we had we had five in the boat by the time of 6.30. And blast off was about 5.30. And then we just couldn't, couldn't connect on any more uh, keepers. The topwater bite was not there like it was yesterday morning. Um, and then we finally went in, Alicia broke, or when she casted, there was a back, a loop that was left in her reel and it back snapped and snapped one of the frogs off. So we went up there to retrieve the frog and she hooks into, oh, probably two, little over two pounder. And uh, so we were able to cull that fish. And since then, it's been nothing but dinks and then we decided, you know, we're gonna come over here and work this bank that's got some docks and eelgrass and uh, some cheese sitting on it. And came in, probably the first 100 yards caught 
two more keepers but weren't big enough to cull and then had one that was, I didn't measure but he was right right around the 14 mark so we're just looking for some some bigger fish hopefully we can find some I think it's a quarter after 10 10 30 now and weigh-ins are at one o'clock today so hopefully we get a can find a bigger one or two and help us out a little bit but about it it's been slow today compared to yesterday all right guys hopefully this helps us out Let me see him. he does feel a little heavier thanks buddy for the ride I'll take a chance. Hey, guess what though? He was either the same or old. He wore long though, right? Yeah. Barely? Yeah. Tubby though. Yeah, he had, belly, he had a belly on him. Fish number one. Bigger than I thought. She still beats me. Biggest fish every tournament. Never fails. I had two pound yesterday and she's got a two three. You're fine. Alright guys, so that pretty much sums up uh, day number two up there at uh, Prairie de Chine. And we actually had a pretty decent tournament for, for the boat issues that we ran into during practice. Um, the second day of practice leading up, we, like I said, we changed the spark plugs in it. That didn't end up working. Just kind of trying to think of some minor things that we could do at the, uh, the Airbnb house. But if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff to where we kind of make it kind of a two part, three part series, let us know down below. Um, I actually had a blast doing it, um, filming three different, you know, three different videos for you guys. So that it was kind of broke down and you could split it up that way. But, uh, we had a pretty decent tournament. I think we ended up, I don't know, right somewhere in the middle of the pack again, um, like always, but also the boat issues, I think kind of saved us and, and helped us out to get both limits on both or two limits. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave any sort of comment you guys that want to down below. We want to interact with you guys because, like I say almost every video, you guys are the foundation of this channel. You guys are what's making us grow. And for us to keep growing, it comes down to the algorithm. And so by you guys hitting the thumbs up and dropping a comment, hitting that sus subscribe button, um, it just grows us larger. So thank you guys, everybody, for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next episode here on Seek to Thrill Outdoors.